Hi and welcome back to my solo playthrough of Battlestar Galactica. This might be the last episode in the series, so let's see how things go. I posted the last video yesterday, so I do understand that my call for vote, if I should jump or not at a minus three here, was a little bit short termed. I think you didn't really have a lot of time to vote. Nevertheless, Kind Paul or Chicken Paul, as I like to refer to him, did provide his opinion on that and said, let's rather wait. And because that's the only opinion I got so far, at least while I'm recording this video, I think that's fair. I'll let you decide. I got only one vote out of this. So here we are. We will not jump this video. We might do some preparations. Depending on how things go, we might change things then with the next round. I really don't want to stick around here for too long. We only need one more jump point um, and then we still have to jump again. Keep that in mind. But yeah, let's see how things go and yeah, let's start our next round. Okay, here are the cards that I drew for Starbuck. I was really hoping for a blue repair card. I didn't get one. I wanted to repair some more Vipers. But yeah, that's how things go. We have some maximum firepower. We have more strategic planning. We have one launch Vipers, keep in, uh, Raptors. Keep in mind, we don't have any more Raptors in our reserves. We basically blasted them all into oblivion. But okay, what are we going to do then? I mean, I could stay here in the press room and draw some more politics skill cards, at, but, but that would put me at 11 cards at the end of this round. So I would have to discard down. Again, not the end of the world. We could simply get rid of this measly launch scout here. And I think that's still okay. And depending, of course, the, always depending on how things go in respect to the crisis card. And maybe just preparing ourselves for a very tough crisis card might not be the end of the world. Yeah, I almost forgot we might still have to spend some cards for a skill check. The other alternative would be to go to the president's office for another quorum card. But right now our resources are all still blue. So not sure if I feel any pressure there. So no, I think let's keep it simple. We will stick to the press room. And that's a four. I mean, that's pretty good. And we have another two with the consolidate power. At least I have some more yellow cards in my hand. You need some variety for some of those skill tests. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of our round. I was really hoping for a repair card. So this is our crisis card and that's okay. The food shortage is back. So I guess we are going to get rid of some cards anyway. Yeah, two food or one food and we are discarding five skill cards and that's what we are going to do. So let's simply start with a card. So that's a scout that's clear we get rid of the scientific research for now we will get rid of a strategic planning ah, five cards is not easy uh evasive maneuver and i guess we will go for yellow card two here the consolidate power here so overall these were five cards but we are only losing one food now which still doesn't bring us into the red so i think i totally take that and now we check the cut again we don't have any raiders out there and we don't have any base stars so if we would have base stars but no raiders then the base stars would launch some raiders i think to each um but we are definitely going into the jump preparation trick. And now I guess with our next round, I will definitely jump. I mean, losing one population, hmm, yeah, I know, easy for me to say, but I think that could be worth it. And we could still roll well. I mean, that's still a <laughs> feasible option. And so far, Starbuck was doing extremely well in that perspective. And here are our cards. Um, again, I wanted a blue card for the repair. This time we got a repair. We, wow, we really have strong red cards now in our hand. We still have a maximum firepower worth four. So that's definitely amazing. But we have those two launch scouts, which could be, let's call it easy prey when moving. And I think that's what we are going to do now. So we are moving from the colonial one, the press room to the FTL control. Therefore, we have to discard a skill card. We will go for one of those measly scout cards which we no longer need and unless we are going into a skill check and then yeah we are basically rolling the die in order to roll the die we will play a strategic planning that's a four still still hurts but yeah bring out the dice tower and again we are looking for a five i believe now with the strategic no that's a four that's not good enough 
4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 or lower means we are losing population because of our premature FTL control jump but right now that's also not really a big deal so we are moving back here to the jump preparation track we don't have any ships out on the board so yeah let's draw our destination card so we have the icy moon is back and we have the barren plan okay at least I told you and maybe I should have warned you if this card would have been a three I would have screamed the hell out of my microphone here because yeah because these raptors kept on failing but that's completely okay and as we're already at seven we might as well go for the icy moon or lose one fuel and then we may risk one raptor we cannot risk the raptor but again the one is all we need that we don't need to lose two fuel here in this point in time yeah we simply lose one fuel still not in the red and then we are putting the icy moon next to our destination deck and if we then check the cobalt card here again we see that the next time the fleet jumps the humans wins the game do not draw a destination card so of course we could still lose population and if this population loss would bring us basically to zero or below we are still losing but i mean we still want to survive with <laughs> of our population obviously okay the barren planet simply goes to the bottom of this deck we don't need it anymore and i guess yeah let's simply draw our next crisis card and here we are dealing with some riots don't be so sure commander rebellions are contagious people are already rioting over the water crisis yeah yeah i can remember that we can afford to destabilize this government right now okay we get to choose we can either lose one food and one morale or we lose one population and one fuel right now population i mean we still have a lot of population actually and the maximum we can lose now is pretty much a three from the jump of course there could be other effects but again a three is something that we might lose so this could be a four if we are now losing one but we have food and now uh, food and fuel they're both our lowest resource right now no let's go with morale and food because especially we already have seen a lot of food shortage and water crises so maybe maybe yeah it's food first one in the red interesting and the morale also goes down to six okay we have reached the red zone with one of our things so now i get at least somewhat hmm, tense but let's see how things go the base stars would launch some raiders we don't have any base stars we also don't have a jump preparation icon so we can directly move into the next round i think we don't have to discard anything no nope. So let's draw our cards. This time I went for a green one instead of the blue one here because we don't have any green cards in our hand. We might be use those for future skill text tests and whatnot. We are now really over our hand size limit. So yeah, we have to spend those cards one way or the other. But I guess for this round, we are simply moving here to the hangar deck. Then we are going to play our repair card which for our action allows us to repair up to two damaged vipers isn't that nice so we are moving one two of those back into the viper and raptor reserves but yeah the raptors are completely out of here okay that was again another very very speedy turn we are discarding the repair card we are drawing our crisis card and crap Again, we are dealing with a water shortage here. So we could lose one food or we can simply, I mean, we have to discard down um, our skill cards anyway. No, um, absolutely. We are basically, I think it's five cards again. Yeah, right. One, two, three, four, and yeah, the other ones, five cards here. Yeah, let's do that like this. Base stars would shoot at us. No base stars out, but yeah, we will see a jump preparation which means we are one step closer to winning. Again, if we make it here to the auto jump, um, then we are not losing anything. We simply win the game immediately. But of course, there are still a lot of things that can go wrong. Keep in mind, food is now already in the red. So this is definitely something to be a little bit worried about. 
Okay, because of this crisis card, we didn't have to discard anything because yeah, we spent five of our cards. This is our hand for this card of the additional cards that we got. Again, I went for a green card. I don't have any green cards in my hand. Yeah, we have some more lone scouts. Could be easy prey. But now I'm really not sure what I'm going to do for my action. Of course, I could repair. No, I can't repair again. Don't have any repair cards. And the repair card would be a 50% vase because again, you can repair up to two damaged vipers. So what next? I mean, just in case I could go to the command to activate up to two unmanned wipers just to prepare stuff. I mean, yeah, next card could be silent fleet attacking us. Yeah, let's do that. So we're moving in here. We just repaired two wipers. So we're launching one here and we're launching one here. And then again, we could keep launching and then start moving those vipers around the ship. And this is something which I now see as a viable strategy for a non-pilot solo player um, to really do these things relatively early on, to really send your ships around as quickly as you can, just to be prepared. I still agree that maybe activating up to two unmanned vipers could be a little bit too limiting, but. Yeah, I'm still debating with myself if I should do another playthrough of this or not. But yeah, that was already our turn. So that's our crisis card and that's the legendary discovery. Okay, wow, that's an amazing card. This could give us one more jump destination point. But of course, we already reached COBOL in theory. Oh, that's such a waste. The aerial survey turned up evidence of at least one city on the surface. Hmm, we could now pass. Or when we pass or we could simply fail we would still lose one food this could become an issue now this could really become an issue but can we come up with 14 points i think we can yeah i think we can i really don't want to lose one more food we cannot destroy raptor here that's okay we are not losing the game because of that that's not really a result which yeah uh, we can't help. So yeah, we have to go to the skill check anyway. So we are playing one, two cards from the destiny deck. And then we need to come up with 14 points. Uh, because again, we have a lot of cards. We have to discard down anyway. So yeah, totally. We will go for the strategic planning. We will go for the maximum firepower. That's already 10 points. Mm, let's do 14 points. Can you see that? Yeah, you can still see that. I still want more actually. So I guess we will go for more maximum firepower. So this brings us to an 18. But again, these two cards could count against us. So let's go for a 19 with some evasive maneuvers here. No, no, let's not do this. Let's go for 20 here for a launch scout. So we are six over. I mean, this is really not bad, but we have another launch scout. Let's go to 22. Let's really go crazy here. Let's reveal our cards. Okay, that's three against us. No, it's not three against, it's two against us, one for us. So that's perfectly fine. So we can place this card next to our destination pile pretty much. Again, we would launch some more raiders. We don't have any one of those out. Yeah, there is no jump preparation, but that's an amazing one. If we would have gotten this card before we would have made the jump, we would have won the game already. So <laughs> this legendary discovery, that's again, an amazing, an amazing card. And I think the more crisis cards you add to from the expansion, the more difficult it gets to get the legendary discovery. I'm not 100% sure if there are more legendary or similar cards in the other expansion crisis cards. Okay, but we spent really a lot of cards here, but that's okay. We would have to discard it down anyway. So I guess that was definitely worth it. And yeah, let's go into the next round. Yeah, and this is what we got, some maximum firepower, some more strategic planning, a scientific research, which again could help me um, for later tests where, again, this makes blue cards count for your skill checks, no matter what. And oof, I think we keep it kind of boring this round as Starbuck will remain here in command. Again, she will activate up to two unmanned Viper. And before we are launching anything new, we are moving those guys out because let's simply assume that a civilian ship shows up here without any Viper support and maybe some raiders or whatever happened there. We have at least 
some folks there to protect them. And then maybe if I have to stick around here, we might launch some more or maybe we'll move them down. So that's at least something that I'm going to do here for those Vipers, having them a little bit moved out. So I can now reach pretty much all of the spaces on the board with those two Vipers, which is definitely worth it but yeah that was already our turn let's draw our next and that's the Cylon virus which doesn't come with a jump preparation of course it's the virus sir I think it spawned copies of itself in some of our computer systems it's knocked out main power and auxiliary units we could pass it with no effect we if we would fail um, all characters in the FTL location are sent to sick bay oh then place one Centurion marker at the start of the boarding party track. That's terrible. This piece, eh, I don't care, but the boarding party, no. This late game could be a problem. No, let's definitely try to make it through this test. We need a 13. One, two cards. We just played a blue card for our last skill test. So we lost two points here for sure. And yeah, I definitely want to pass this test. So that's three four points seven points so all our purple cards are here so seven eleven that's a four sorry can you see that yeah now eleven and sixteen right and i think that's really all we can do now nine ten sixteen points there's really nothing else we could do wow this could go terribly wrong okay that's already against us and last card okay that's a purple one okay i think we made it 16 17 15 yes amazing we have passed nothing bad would happen we don't jump but again this costs us a hell of a lot of cards now wow i think these things can get tricky if the next skill check is similarly bad then yeah i think we may be in, in, in a relatively precarious situation but yeah i like that next round this is our cards i'm out of blue cards i was out of purple cards but yeah we got really some very lame cards for these two that's four points and i think again we just spent 16 from our hand so yeah that's definitely could become a problem i still have 12 cards in my hand now so what am i going to do next i could still go to the research lab simply to get myself another blue card but again because i may have to discard down this uh, i don't like this no i guess we stay here in command and we'll launch some more vipers now yeah let's do that and then with our next turn we might still want to move folks out for example yeah let's do it like this and then i think i'm feeling relatively prepared for the next cylon attack but yeah let's see what comes our way and bam it is a jammed assault so we would activate our raiders we don't have anything out then we will bring out a baster over here two heavy raiders are you kidding me we're having four here, so good thing is, yeah, but they're really completely away from us. I mean, that's, how can this happen? But I think these were all those. We will bring out some more ships. Um, one, 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 one. We bring out two more Vipers in that area here. And again, I think that's perfect. At least for now, we have some protection. So I could still debate now to simply move those guys out here um, to strengthen that. And then maybe with my next action, launch myself in a Viper 2. But let's see. We have a communications jamming. Keep this card in play until the fleet jumps. Players may not activate the communications location. That's not the end of the world. I mean, it's really not a bad one. If you are already in a bad shape, you can simply look at the two, back of two civilian ships and then we may move them to adjacent areas. So you can move them out. That's typically a cool thing. Of course, also for the Cylon player to really say, hmm, amazing, let's move those ships in and have them attack. But again, we cannot use this um, action. I think I will leave it here. 
Hopefully, I mean, the next time we jump, we will win the game anyway. So I think, yeah, we will leave the card here. Hopefully I will remember, but that's pretty much already it. We have to discard some cards now, but it's only two. So we are getting rid of two evasive maneuvers. I still have two in my hand. These are the lowest valued ones. So I think that should be good. Okay, things have changed now, but I really like that. I really do. So let's draw some more cards. Pretty rubbish if you ask me, but nothing I can do about it. And who? Oh, interesting. I think for now I'm going to move. I think I think I will stick to the command here because I still want to use my vipers here. These are this is the closest civilian ship. So those folks will definitely move in here. That much is clear. So we can somewhat neglect this area here for now at least. Things could change. So again, I can move up to two unmanned vipers. So one and i guess two right now yes i know this is unprotected no let's do one and one let's do it like this because right now i think this is the critical area of course if now some more raiders show up here then that's what it is but i think that's still okay so i moved to vipers that was already my action for this round and i could imagine that with my next action i'm launching myself out terra to simply yeah, start shooting down some of those birds. And oh wow, an ambush. Wow, another one. Things really are ramping up. So the base stars will shoot us. Right now there's only one base star out. Yeah, okay, we have to deal with that. So we are rolling our die and again, I keep forgetting. I think it's a four to eight. Yes, a four to eight. We will be damaged. That's the four they needed. Okay, we have to draw our next token. That's fuel. So we are losing one fuel, but this token is then out of the game for good. So we are removing it and reducing our fuel accordingly. I think that's not the end of the world. Now we have two resources in the red. So wow, things do get tense now. So we will have a base star here and eight raiders. That's the... Okay, maybe not that big of a deal right now. We can still deal with those raiders for sure. So good thing is that we have moved some in here. The problem now really is that we are also bringing out two more vipers. So we cannot launch ourselves in a viper right now because there's nothing left. And still we bring out some more of those civilian ship. One is up here, which is okay, is it? No, it's not because those guys will go in here now because this is closer. Ooh, one here and one there. Wow, things really turned ugly <laughs> with just two cards. Are you kidding me? So we have training new pilots. Keep this card in play until the fleet jumps. Each unmanned Viper suffers a minus. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And I cannot launch. This is so bad. So basically what I most likely need to do is to maybe repair the last Viper now and launch myself out. Otherwise, oof. so let's see. I have to remember this card somewhere, somehow. Yeah, let's see about that. But wow, this was brutal. And again, I have to discard cards. This time it's five cards we have to discard. So I think these are okay. They're all launch scouts and one evasive maneuver. So five cards, Oof, this did hurt. So we are drawing new cards now and then what? Then what? First of all, we have to draw our cards here. We have some maximum firepowers. We have some launch scouts, basically refilling my hand. I really needed some more purple cards now. So am I going to activate unmanned vipers, but they suffer penalties. So they won't hit anything. So I guess our safest bet now is to move ourselves to the hangar deck. I believe I cannot move a viper back in. Could be something for an FAQ. I really don't know that. And I never have done that. I never needed to do that. So yeah, let's stick to the plan. We are playing the repair card. Again, this allows us to repair up to two damaged vipers. We still have one, but of course, uh, this could be gone. I'm maybe this ambush cards for the Vipers. Maybe that's a May because again, I'm not playing with those Cylon attack cards that often. Maybe I don't need to launch my Vipers. Maybe I can deliberately say, no, I will keep one Viper in here now for my pilots. I think that could be a thing actually. But okay, I think if the next card is not one of those Cylon attack cards and we already played two of those in a row, and there are really a lot of those in the deck, 
then I should be okay. We, I think, yeah, that was our action already. Wow, not a lot going on. We have to deal with another crisis card. That's the rescue mission. Okay, at least we have a jump preparation. That's, that's something. And this says, Roger that boomer, search and rescue ops are underway for Starbuck. Bring hot dog in, the old man wants to talk to him. Duala, hmm. We can choose minus one morale and the current player is sent to sick bay or minus one fuel and destroy one raptor. Mm, this is now really one of those edge cases. I think I will not allow myself to go for this option because I cannot fully do that. If it's a choice, I th really think I have to do it all, right? Yeah. And I guess I want to lose morale anyway. And being sent to sickbay right now is not the end of the world either. No, let's do that. Let's lose one morale, which is now also in the red. Wow, who has thought about this? I like this a lot. And we have to go to sickbay, which only means we are drawing one card at the start of our next round. But because we have to discard down now anyway, I think that's also not terrible either. Then, unfortunately, the base stars will still try to hit us. And currently we have two out here on the board. This could now be, or oh, this could go terribly wrong now, actually. Yeah, but let's see about that. So four to eight. No, not a hit. Four to eight. Not a hit. Amazing. Duala did it again. She is a star. So crew, uh, so fracking cool. And we still have to deal with our jump preparation. So we are moving one step closer to victory. Oh boy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I like this face of the game. Ah, that's so cool. Okay, these are the cards that I have to or had to discard or chose to discard at the end of this round. And then, yeah, let's definitely do one more. Okay, because I started my turn in sickbay, I only get to draw one card this round. And I'm out of purple cards, so I will go for a purple card. And this is what I drew. A strategic planning of three. I take that. That's not a terrible card at all. We will move to the hangar deck now, out of sickbay. And we will, for our action, launch ourselves in a Viper. Which way to go now? No, we will go out here, I believe. Yeah. So we will go out here. That's the last Viper we have. And then we can still take one more action. Unfortunately, we didn't start our turn in a Viper. So we only get one action, but with my remaining action, I will move in here and hopefully we can make use of some of our maximum firepower here. Cool, I take that. But that was already our action phase. We will draw our card and that's Rescue Caprica Survivors. Oh, that's, wow, this will be an interesting one down here. And say what you want, I always love movie stills from shows I really like. You can argue with, with me, whatever you want, I like this. Okay, we are going to rescue some Caprica survivors, it seems. The Silence have a plan for Caprica, but they haven't killed everyone. I think our first order of business has to be planning a rescue mission back to Caprica. Hmm, President chooses. We could gain one population back. No, we will go for the morale loss here. I think that's a pretty easy choice. So our morale is going down to four. I think I think that's okay. We are going to activate the Raiders though. And this could become an issue. Let's go with the easy ones here. So they are going clockwise towards this direction here. So, but that they have been dealt with. And I think let's continue the board in a clockwise order. So those guys will all attack <clears throat> this poor little Viper here. The penalty on, they only get on their attack roll, by the way. So not being attacked. And again, we are looking for a five to seven to be destroyed. So first attack here, that's a two, awesome. Second attack, oops, that's a seven. I take it, didn't go for it properly, but it's a seven. So we are going for an evasive maneuver here to reroll that die. Oh, that's an eight. That's even worth actually. Um, I don't want this to be destroyed. So we are playing one more evasive maneuver now and that's a one. Okay, we take it and you are allowed to do that. Yep, 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 yep. So that was the third one. That's a two, I take that. Fourth one, that's another eight. I still have one more evasive maneuver. That's a seven. Okay, seven means only dis uh, damaged. 
So wow, Oof, that's definitely bad. And I think these were all of those. I really hope I haven't forgotten. No, I think that's okay. What we have lost a lot of cards here. We are still not done yet as there are some more raiders over here. Now I'm really out of evasive maneuver cards. Ooh, that's terrible. Okay, first one, it's a one. Okay, second one, that's a three. Third one, that's a four. No, four is not good enough. And the last one is a five. Okay, we have damaged one more Viper. We have a repair card still, so that's not bad. But yeah, we may have to say goodbye to those, both of those actually. Or do we? <laughs> I think those were all of our Raiders. Yes, we have a jump icon on our card here. Well, that's truly great. And this also means that we have now won the game. So I'm not going to draw any more cards. I will simply move back with my movement step here into the FDL control. I have to discard a card because I would have taken a card from which one I got. So I don't know. Let's say we have drawn, yeah, this card here from the deck. We will discard it to move back to the FTL control. In the FTL control, of course, we will play the strategic planning which will give us a plus two on that die roll and now we are again hoping for a five to eight and it's a three not enough which means we are losing one two three population here but we have successfully jumped to cobalt and this means we have just won this game for some time i truly believed that this would be a cakewalk now Seeing all those resources in the red and I think they all fell into the red in a matter of I don't know five rounds six rounds or so so if I would have been unlucky with some of those jump preparation icons um, and maybe with some of my earlier roles so let's see what the next card would have been okay the heavy raiders would have um, engaged so that's really not the end of the world they have just moved out so I think we definitely would have survived yet another round with that. And then, yeah, absolutely, Starbike would have gone crazy and used her maximum firepower. But I think overall, when you look at the situation, things are really looking grim. I mean, what could have done? Starbuck was here. If you are, maybe she would have used a maximum firepower. Maybe good chance that we would have been able to get rid of those raiders here. But those guys would have gone crazy. So let's say first one, let's do a roll here. Okay, this was not successful, not successful. Okay, this was would have been destroyed. Let's take it like this. This one would have killed this civilian ship. Okay, amazing. And I think, oh, I think that's the only empty one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, nothing bad would have happened here, but those guys might have hit this one here. And yeah, okay, this one was an empty one too. <laughs> Okay, well, I would have been lucky here, but of course, maybe not the one here at the top of the board. So what is this one here? No, this is really where we would have lost one population. I think there is one out that has a population and a fuel on that. Yeah, let's look. Let's check those out now. So maybe things wouldn't have been so grim as I would. Okay, here are two population, one population and um, this is morale, I believe. Yeah, okay, no, no, I think, yeah, yeah, no, I think, yeah, no, no. Okay, things could have really turned against us. I mean, if we would have lost those two, then our population would be down to two now after the jump, still okay. But yeah, I made the call and I I am still happy that I did make that call. I think, yeah, jumping out in this situation was the right move. And in a multiplayer game, uh, as a human player, I would have totally done the same thing. And yeah, this is pretty much how you play Battlestar Galactica solo. I must say I liked it a lot. I, I really had a blast playing this game on camera for you with you so again thanks for all your helpful comments your cheers and whatnot really do appreciate it a lot again i'm debating if i should do another run through again with a political leader or not um things will definitely look different so again as you have seen here i will use the command much more often i will have to remain on the galactic and maybe that's even a somewhat subpar experience experience not so great because again yeah you are 
I mean, with the solo mode and the cooperative mode, you're already removing a big deal from this game, which is all this paranoia. Who is who? Who is working on which side? And whatnot. And if you're also taking the piloting out, then you're also removing stuff mechanically, which again might not be the most fun thing to watch. Yes, you have to play things t more tactic, but then all you do is maybe go here, sometimes go here to attack the Saturn ship with Galactica. Um, every now and then go to the president's office for more quorum cards. Yes, maybe a somewhat completely different game. And maybe that's what it is. You have to trust your military forces to work for you. And yeah, let me know what you think about this. But again, this experience here playing this pilot character, I really like this a lot. I th still think I was extremely lucky, again, especially because of this Cylon card, which didn't affect us. I was doing exceptionally well with a lot of my die rolls. I think I had another jump at a minus three, which I made and which then really kept me going to say where I said, okay, I can risk um, premature jumps much easier now because my population was never a problem. I think we only lost one. Did we lose one civilian ship? Yes, we did at some point in time. This one here, exactly one population. But again, ultimately not a big deal. Some of the other resources are now somewhat more problematic. So this could have changed if some more of those cards would have shown where you said lose too few food or one too fuel, then maybe things might have went the other way but I'm not complaining here I enjoyed my experience a big deal a huge shout out to all of my patrons out there really do appreciate all your support and again if you want to support my show you will find a link to my page on patreon you can join me here on YouTube by whatever click this little join button down there like and subscribe this also greatly helps to grow my channel and yeah Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos, most likely Australia next. And yeah, until then, bye bye.